Good morning. Uh, we are in uh, X Plane uh, 12.1.0, Beta 4. And uh, what I'm trying to uh, show is uh, the current status of uh, VR plugin Windows. So, um, so currently, um, I've just started up in VR, and, uh, and I have a couple of windows that are attached to my headset. So, I have the VR mouse cursor enabled, and I have VR controllers. So, um, right now, the, um, this one window here is above my vertical field of view. I cannot see the top of this window. And uh, so this is where, this is the, uh, the default position for where, uh, where this window is. Let me see if I can uh, run my, okay. So hopefully we can see with the uh, webcam, like how far in front of my headset this window is. Uh, the problem is, is that because it's tall, uh, I can't see the top of it. Now this one, if I go over on this one here, I can certainly see the top bar is highlighted. Now the top bars are, uh, are movable. So if I go over here, pull the trigger down, I've got a hold of that window, I can move it. Now we have another one. Same way, that's in my field of view. So if I come over here, I can grab it. And I could have also done the same thing with the, uh, oh, get me trying to find my mouse. <laughs> there we go. Well, at least my mouse thing. Okay, so, um, so we, so we got this guy here and, uh, I made the wrong kind of window, but that's okay. So up here at the top, if I can get this to highlight, I should be able to grab it and move it. The problem is, is that the VR mouse cursor doesn't have any haptic feedback, so I can't tell that. So what would be great is if the default view was further away from the... Uh, uh, from the headset initially. So these windows are windows that would normally, we'll say in 2D. In 2D, when you go ahead and uh, start up X-Plane, these windows are gonna be placed uh, on the desktop someplace, depending on where you tell it to position. In VR, on the other hand, uh, windows that start up initially uh, they are attached to the headset. So as I move my head back and forth, this window moves with my headset. And uh, so you can see if the VR mouse cursor gets close to the, the side, it's going to highlight. But it's very, very difficult for me to actually get to the, uh, to the top. So an advantage of a VR controller is I can do this. Roll up a little bit. Yeah, I can feel it. So as soon as that green highlights, I can feel it in the haptics. Now, what I wanted to do is I want to look, and I'll look at the VOD. How far above my head is that? Is my controller? Unlike, say, an HP Reverb G2, uh, they don't track very well above your head. So if you have a window that is about this big or bigger, uh, you're going to have a heck of a time uh, trying to uh, uh, trying to actually grab, grab the top of this bar, reach up here, pull the trigger, because you can't see it. And, uh, you know, with an HP Reverb G2, not only will you be able to not see it, but the uh, more than likely the uh, so when I run mine up up look I can go like way up here, it just I'm just looking at the kind of the top of my uh, view, I can see that controller, I'm way above my head, way above my head, I'm down, 
Yeah, my head's here. I'm way above my head. But because I have lighthouse tracking, I, I don't have this problem. With an HP Reverb G2, you do. And uh, so, so what, what, the, what my request is, is that twofold. One is, can we have this window, the initial position, can we have it further from the headset? As far as I'm concerned, that's at arm's length. Can we have it at least half arm's length away from the headset? Not, uh, not, let me, let me see if I can kind of figure this out. I'll have to look at the VOD and see how far away I am. But right here is where the window is. So I have to look at the VOD and try to figure out, uh, if I have a reference point. So let me just go straight down from here. So where's my desk? Okay. So, so basically from where I'm sitting right now, I'm on the edge of my desk. Okay. So we need it. We need it at least that far away. If it's that far away, then pretty much any window that would be made, uh, would be far enough away that this would be visible. And, uh, so that's kind of, kind of what it is. So, so I'm going to reach up here. And if, as long as I grab it, then I can move it. So I'm saying that I want that window about, it would be great if we could have that window start about that. What would be even better is if we could have a data reference, a data ref for that, so that we could control how far the, um, how far the window is away from your headset. Because it, it may be, uh, my headset may be, how this turns out may be different than, say, somebody with a, the Reverb G2, with a Vario, uh, with a new Crystal Light. Uh, it may all be different, but if we had a data ref, then we could, no matter, no matter what headset you had, you could make it, uh, you could make it work. That would be the ultimate, and, uh, so... Uh, okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to, uh, so those are windows that start up, uh, with, uh, when you start up VR. Now we have other windows, let me view out of the way. So we have other windows that start up basically from the menu system. So we go over here, advanced menu, plugins, uh, we'll go with fly with Lua first, macros, and, uh, so I'm gonna, so uh, I am GUI sound settings open close. If I pull the trigger, it's attached to my controller. That's the other way that windows open up in VR. One is they initially open up and they're attached to your headset. The second way is if you pick them through the menu, through the VR menu system, then they're attached to your controller. So you can put them pretty much wherever you want. And uh, this guy normally goes down here for me, even lower. Uh, but that's the difference. And that, that's true with any. So I'm gonna go with a different plugin. We'll go, uh, we'll go Avatab, toggle tablet. Same thing, it's attached to my controller. So I'm going to, uh, uh, let me toggle you back off. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play around with the mouse cursor now. The mouse cursor is a little different. So if I click on the right mouse button, that shows that that displays the same thing. I wonder if I can get both of these lit up. I don't think I can. Uh -uh. So that's kind of interesting. So when the when this menu system is is available, when I squeeze on my trigger, I can't show the menu system up because basically the same menu system is going to show up on my VR controller. But when this is visible, I can't. So basically, uh, so we come up here and uh, 
wherever I'm at, I highlight. So I'm going to go down here to plugin. And I'm going to go to apply with Lua. And, uh, uh, what do I want to do? Oh, okay. Let me get me car. So, so when I'm using the VR mouse pointer, uh, the, uh, the plugin is attached to my headset. So because, because this window isn't very big, I can go ahead. So, so I go ahead and I highlight this top bar and then I push down on the left mouse button. That means I have control over it, but I don't have the control that I have with the VR controller. VR controller, I could rotate this window. I could do a 180 on it, but I can't. So this one is kind of tied to my headset, kind of. So as I move my headset in, I move that. If I turn my head like this, looks like it rotates a little bit. It does some pretty weird stuff. So if I put it, I'm going to try to put it down in here. But it's a little weird. <laughs> so we'll let go, and uh, that's where it's going to stay. Uh, so that's kind of the, the difference between uh, how uh, how different ones work. And I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to do the uh, the Avatab. Toggle tablet. And the same way. So that one, uh, that one's attached to my headset. And and if you have like a plugin that's like too big, you know, then you're going to have a hard time trying to figure out. Uh, uh, so in this window, it's almost too big. But what you can do is uh, you can try to go over here, or can I? Uh-uh. Yeah. You can, but it's really difficult. What I'm trying to do is get the mouse cursor over to the side where I can make this window smaller. But it is very difficult to do. So so this is kind of uh, that's the same thing. We need this uh, whenever uh, 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 a window is attached to the headset. We need this either adjustable or if it can't be made adjustable, make it further away so that you can actually see and grab it. So I'm just going to kind of guess up here. Yep, got it. So so I went ahead and uh, I did uh, I did uh, uh, just kind of guessed. But um, but but as far as like usability in VR, that's we we need to do better. We just need to do better. Uh, and and somehow somehow I mean it has to be known how far away that is that window will be presented. That that has to be a given because it's the same uh, every time. So so let me uh, let me go down to plugins. Have a tab, toggle tab. So I'm going to do this again. Plugins, have a tab. Whoops. Nope, nope, nope. Not there. Plugins, have a tab, toggle tab. So we're going to do it again. It is always exactly the same distance away from my headset. So that's controlled somehow, some way. And it's being told to be so far away from my headset. Uh, the request is make it further away. Make it certainly um, arm's length away. With a VR mouse cursor, you can be clear out there. So, but, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so... VR mouse cursor is always so much fun. It, it seems to have a mind of its own at times. Toggle tap. Okay. Let me think. I wanted to go over that. That. And, uh, yeah. So, oh. Um, so, like, when I, uh, and, and, and here's, uh, so when I, when I do a right click of the mouse, like right here. Notice where that where that menu system popped up. 
Uh, that is adjustable. So if I go here, whoops, well, I can't do that. <laughs> so, yeah, let me get that a rep tool. Search. Whoops. Huh. Why didn't you show up? There you are. It may have been open in, uh, whoops, not what I wanted, but it may have been open in, uh, 3D. Okay. Uh, go see if I can find it. Let me get this guy out of the way. That's there. Oh, get the water. Okay, this guy here. VR menu forward. Sim private controls VR mouse menu forward. Uh, so, its default is point one. If I back up, make this a nine. Enter, find. And move things out of the way. Whoops. Come over here, but same place. And then do a right click. So we've went too far. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Uh, yeah. I can't get it closer. That's right. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, back this up. I can't get it closer. I'll put it back to one just to make sure that uh, I really didn't break it. I don't think I did. So we're back to point one where it was. So that's back where it was. So let's try going just one more. Let's just go to two. We'll see if that works. Yeah. Now notice that's that's closer to me. And uh, evidently there's a limit. Using the VR mouse cursor with this is uh, a bit. Well, uh, maybe we'll figure it out. So we'll do point three. Enter. Turn to click on hide. <laughs> hide. All right. So we'll see where it breaks at. I'm at point three. So that's closer. Evidently point nine must be behind me. <laughs> it's what I, what I think it is. So, so we'll go ahead and we'll make this, uh, we'll go up one more. The whole point of this exercise is That's my doctor's appointment. I love it. So, so that's 
that's almost close to me. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can go to five. <laughs> five may be too much. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like right in my face. So here's my point. My point is, and I'll put this back to one. My point is, this is adjustable. It works. Can we please have the one that uh, attaches to my uh, my headset also adjustable? Hopefully that's not too much to ask for. And uh, I may with alleviate um, many uh so if i take this now and i can make it i can go the other way so if i uh decrease this you know go say uh like uh zero one i think that'll work can't remember yeah so you see, that's that's real close to uh, um, that's real close to where the uh, where the cursor is. So, let me look. Yeah. So, so the cursor jumps up in front of it, but but when it's uh, oops, but when I uh, so right now that's right there. So if I do uh, a right click, that's in front. You can see that's in front of that uh, switch. So, uh, but, but the point is, this is adjustable. So, uh, it would certainly be great if we could uh, have, uh, have the same functionality with the uh, initial head position of the, uh, of the windows, of the windows that are in, uh, that are in VR. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Anything else? Um, no. I'm thinking that's kind of uh, kind of what I what I wanted to go over, and uh, just to show the different uh, the different way things work, you know. And I actually didn't realize that uh, when I do. Um, that when I do it with the VR mouse cursor, it's attached to the headset. So that's even more, um, that's even more different than, than when, uh, than the VR, uh, controllers. So, so, uh, so, and I'm wondering if I can, yeah. So even though I, even though I opened it with the, uh, um, even though I opened it with the VR mouse cursor, I could still use my VR controller uh, to move it around and stuff. But uh, okay, look, I'm trying to think. I think that's one I wanted to go over today. I'm I'm trying to. Um, my goal here is to document the status of VR in the various um, the various parts of it, and uh, so. Uh, so today was all about uh, VR uh, VR plugin windows, and uh, this video will be put up on YouTube. And uh, I'm certainly trying not to rant too much, you know. But um, uh, when I when I see we have adjustability in certain places, but not in others, I'm like, can uh, uh, can we can we have that too? I mean, uh, and uh, and this this attached to the headset is a big big deal uh for some reason i don't know most windows in vr are bigger than in 2d i don't know why it's true but i found it generally to be true i don't don't think i have i don't uh <clears throat> i made a little um a little up and down button i don't see it where is it nose up and nose down i made a button for the arabesque and I tried to make it as small as I could. 
but when it shows up in, in a 2D, it looks it looks fine on the G1000. Uh, but when I when it comes into VR, it's huge. I mean, it's it's way larger than 2D, and I have no idea why. But but that's kind of the problem. So so a window that may look good in 2D, and and a, an aircraft developer goes, okay, well that that looks pretty good. So then when it shows up in VR, especially like if it's a window that's going to immediately open. All of a sudden, it's attached to your headset, and and the top of the window. So, in other words, the move part of the window. So, any of these windows, like you see that there's, uh, we do have uh, bars all the way around, uh, but this type of window, this uh, this type of window doesn't have any. Uh, you can't move. You can't change the size. So. So, so all you can do is move this window. You can't resize it. And uh, so if the initial window is too too large to actually see the top, the top bar, the move bar, um, and you're using a, a type of VR like the, uh, the VR controllers that the headset basically uses its cameras, to track the uh, the controller, and you're out of the range of the camera. So you got your controller. The window's way up here. There's no way you're going to be able to to grab that window. You just cannot do it. So that that is a uh, that's a lack of usability. Uh, that I would I would hope that uh that uh x plane can resolve to uh to make it much more usable for everybody using vr whether you're using uh uh a vr controller or a VR, or the vr mouse pointer a uh, uh, mouse cursor uh and i i think that uh that's kind of what the gist of this uh this video is is to uh to kind of show just how that works so so like we got this guy here so if i put him back about where he shows up at now i can kind of see it but i think it was probably higher it was something like this and that that and, and that the well <laughs> but here's the difference is that let me see uh what do i have to do to make that work uh, let me think for a minute If I reload plugins, that might do it, but I'm not sure. Let me try to reload plugins. I reload a script. Yeah, that did it. So, so when I reload scripts, just like I, w I would have loaded in the VR, now, now this is attached to my headset. And, and there is no way that I can actually see the, that top bar. The window is too big. So, all right, um, I think I'm done, and uh, I just wanted to show all of that, and uh, I'll put this up on YouTube, and uh, I think the title will be, um, I'll explain 12.1.0.4, uh, uh, VR plugin windows current status. I think that's what I'll call it. Thanks much. Uh, you uh, enjoy this content, uh, please uh, click on the follower to subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you another time. Bye-bye.